Hi everyone, it's Vittorio and this is our iBox recap. This week's a bit special as we just received our Wapios FUL226. Now, many people don't know about this, but there are only a handful in the world. And what makes it a game changer is it allows us to increase travel, reduce weight, and maximize production speed of our off-road coilover springs, as well as our full-size performance truck springs like the new Ford Raptors, Ram TRX, and Toyota Tundras with coil spring setups. We're really looking forward to getting this machine installed and completed. That way we can get started on these new springs. Next up, we found ourselves in the desert with the all new game-changing Can-Am Maverick R. We'd like to thank our friends from Fox and Phil Blurton for giving us this opportunity. This UTV has turned a lot of heads in the UTV market so we needed to get our hands on one in order to develop our Pro UTV spring kits. Here's what one of our engineers think about it. The Maverick R felt really good out of the box, but a little bit unbalanced. It was bucking in the rear, so this is what we did. To develop the Pro UTV kit, we adjusted the rates of the spring, as well as adjusted the crossover ring position and the clickers so we can control the rebound a little better. Back in the garage, we had our Subaru WRX IVOC project car in for a rear anti-roll bar test fit. This bar has three ways of adjustment, so you can really fine tune how you want it to handle. From my personal experience, having it on the stiffest setting has been the most fun. We'll have more updates on this kit later on. Speaking of the WRX, I just returned from Austin and I took the chance to check out the Cobb tuning facility. If you didn't know, they worked with us on getting the WRX their Stage 2 power package, which is 50 state legal, which is awesome for us as we're in California. We'll have a full detailed video on that coming very soon. Alongside the WRX is the all new Prius. In my opinion, it's the best looking Prius to come out, so we just had to lower it. We got started by doing our initial measurements and tests. Once complete, we test fitted an existing prototype kit while it's not the kit we'll release for the Prius, it helped us visualize the ride height we'll be aiming for with our Pro Kit and Sportline Kit. After the Prius, we got our hands on the Nissan Z. This kit's in for the first time, so we'll just be taking measurements and if possible, we'll try to test fit an all new kit. We'll have more on this vehicle later on. That's it for this week's recap. Be sure to give us a like and subscribe for more.